name is Michelle Wassart. I'm going to be talking about tent caterpillars. Uh, they're a species of moth, which is Lasiocompidae. Camp today. <laughs> yep, nailed it. Um, so these tent caterpillars are, they construct these nest-like uh, tents in the uh, crevices of trees particularly cherry and apple trees. So this picture of what the tents look like. These tent caterpillars have bright blue and yellow uh, colors on them. There are spots, a picture of it right here. They are very hairy as well. And they use their tents for protection during nighttime and during rainy weather. They, the larvae leave the tents at, during the day to find food. They eat the, usually eat the leaves around surrounding trees. When they are in a big group of these caterpillars, they will actually um, defoliate full trees and ruin the fruits, or damage the fruits on the surrounding trees and their trees that the tents are on. Um, another thing that they can do is they've been known to, um, the mare reproductive loss syndrome, MRLS, they are known to have an effect on these mares, which when the mare, they accidentally eat these caterpillars because they're in cherry and apple trees, so the horses usually apples and cherries, and so they accidentally eat these caterpillars, and the hairs on the caterpillars will get into the bloodstream, and they're, the, in the adult version of horses, um, the hair doesn't really affect them, but if they're pregnant, then they can get into the blood system of the fetus and actually cause abortion or miscarriage in the horses. So, some ways that they have found to, um, keep this from being a problem is just keep the horses away from any evidence of tent caterpillars in the area or they try to destroy the population of these caterpillars. Uh, the most effective ways they found were to um, pour kerosene on the tents of the caterpillars and or burn them. Um, that's the most effective way that they found. But they did a study where there was some horses that weren't affected by the MRLS because there were no tent caterpillars in the area. The first known effect was in Kentucky in 2001 where they found and did the study on the um, why these snares were having abortions. Um, and they found it was because of the tent caterpillars. And then they did a study about why they were affecting them. And yeah, so that's a little about ten caterpillars. Pretty cool information. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs>